support from the learning and development team has been great and they have been able to tailor make the course to our individual role needs. Hello, my name's Jean Perkins. I'm the Learning and Development Manager. Um, I'm here with Leslie Craddock today. We really saw a fantastic opportunity of which the board grabbed when uh, we found out that the um, apprenticeship levy was actually part of um, funding we could use in terms of progressing our staff uh, from entry level programmes right up to postgraduate um, apprenticeships. Uh, it was funding that we've never had access to before. Obviously we embrace that and um, a commitment by the board and our exec director of workforce to actually really run with the apprentice standards that were coming out. So not only have we delivered apprentices from level two and three at the start of the journey, but we now have new roles that have developed around uh, trainee nurse associates, registered nurses. We've uh, just recently worked with Liverpool University to develop advanced practice apprenticeships and we're unique um, in developing bespoke models to um, deliver within forensic services. So it's really exciting times for people. I think the other really key thing is that the apprenticeship, the new standards, um, are very much employer-led, aren't they? They are. And because of that, we can bespoke the training to suit your needs as a manager. So if you've got, like with our business administrator, if there's extra skills that you want to build into the programmes, for example, we built in minute taking um, for that group, or for care learners, you know, if you wanted wound care and things built in, we can build that into programmes for people. And that, that's the really strong thing, I think, about the apprenticeship standards, that we can bespoke them. They're not limited like the old MVQs, where we can create a lot of new learning from the standards that meet the organisation's needs. And I'd like to see more managers coming to us and saying, put that in the programme, that would be really useful for me. I would like to see more of that. Yeah. a bit more engagement with managers and we're here to listen if people did want want things built into the programmes. I can use the new skills that I have learned whilst on the course. I feel that I'm more confident when it comes to producing documents and work and I have a lot of ideas and I'm learning new ways to execute these ideas. The Business Administrator Apprenticeship course has been providing me with opportunity to understand the trust I work for, its vision, values and I'm also to understand values of my role. These have helped me to be able to focus on my work better. It's a great place to learn new skills and knowledge that I can use in, in the workplace, as well as being able to share and learn other people's practice to improve my work further efficiently and effectively. The course has given me more confidence in my role and has made me realise how important I am to the trust. Therefore, my land manager suggested that I complete my level three in order to help me towards my career goal. My name is William Coughlin. I work for Mercy Care as a community matron and district nurse clerk. And I've had an interest in doing the apprenticeship uh, with Mercy Care through my line manager who suggested that there's training opportunities which will improve my experience and increase the productivity of the service as well and the efficiency and I can pass my skills on to other members of the team. I would recommend the course as this has had a positive effect on the individuals. It's been very humorous, an excellent way to learn and it's been positive support from the tutors. And I think the other thing to really celebrate is that we've had some success, haven't we? Yeah, you know, we have. The first in the country to go through endpoint assessment, which is the yeah. new way of assessing apprenticeships. So no longer can we accredit them. We have to have an external exam board that does that for us, which makes it a much more robust qualification. But we were the first in the country with our healthcare um, apprentices to go through at level two and we've got another group coming up for endpoint assessment at the end of January. Mersey Care should be really proud that they've you know allowed us to run with these new standards and um, you know compared to other training providers who've hung on to the old ways of doing things Mersey Care have really embraced the new way and 
you know, we're quite proud of that really, aren't we? We yeah. are, and it links, just to sort of sum up, it links into our, our people plan and our overall strategy, because mm. ultimately our aim of building up this fantastic talent uh, space for people to learn in and grow in and, and work to their full potential is all reaping rewards with how we care for the most important people within mm. this conversation, which is our patients. Mm.